Yeah, um, at the dedication site in the memory of Umafuguzela, Dr. John L. Dube died on the 11th of February um, in 1946, aged 75 years. And it says, out of the darkness into the glorious light. In fact, um, the weather stole away my thunder because just a few minutes ago, it was sweltering hot and the sun was out. And I wanted to say, as I say hello to Ulanga Dube, Bengifunduguti Ilanga Libale. But I didn't get my chance. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Desiree. And uh, good morning to all your listeners. Uh, it, it's quite a, a big thing to carry being in this family, isn't it? It is indeed. It is because everyone out there expects everyone of us to behave and act just like our grandfather and of which is practically impossible to be. In fact, uh, my director is telling me in my ear now that we have your younger brother C. Po in part of our footage, so we're going to play that footage. Tell me about the family. How are they feeling on this day? It's always been somehow challenging, but at the same time, very comforting to know that uh, our grandfather, with all his works and deeds, is not forgotten, especially with the leadership from time to time coming to embrace and just to show support with the family and the whole entire community of Inanda. In fact, the incoming, the new president of the African National Congress is going to start his program today at your family home. How, what does that symbolize? Well, it's, it served to us as a reminder and to say, yes, we recognize the works and the activities that our grandfather and the sacrifice that he made you know, during his formative years up until, you know, he became the first president of the NC to say he can never be forgotten. In as much as uh, all the former NC presidents, right from 1994, they also traversed the same route. They came to pay homage and pay respect right from where we are, uh, right to the home where my grandfather stayed with his family and where he actually conducted different political you know, activities that he chanted uh, to, to complete. Langa, what kind of social activities um, does the family engage in to keep this legacy going? Well, part of the activities, uh, the one that uh, really uh, comes very prominent is that almost all of us are activists and also are community participants in everything that actually happens within our midst and within our community, even at provincial level, we participate. And indeed, some of us even were part and parcel of the struggle. We went to exile, you know, as part of fighting the, the injustices that happened in our country. So you're socially active. How active are you within Ikongolos? Well, within ANC, one attends uh, whatever meetings, the branch meetings, but at the same time, one does not want to uh, to fight to to become one of the leaders. Once people have, uh, you know, decided for the people that they want to elect, we don't sort of uh, want to to castigate and want to to overthrow whoever that's in there. We we sort of embrace and we are supportive of all the the operations that the organization has actually decided on. You say you're encouraged by the organization's uh, upholding of your grandfather's legacy, but how are you helping the community around Othlang? Well, I'm part and parcel of a, a steering committee. Uh, uh, there's a project, uh, to be precise, there's one uh, project which is a Jel Dube legacy project, which is still ongoing, which falls part and parcel of the upgrading of the precinct as well as the the formation and the construction of an amphitheater which forms part and parcel of the uh, tourism development because we need to remind ourselves to say there is a tourism route that exists within Inanda uh, because Inanda it's, it's still known in certain quarters as a freedom valley because this is one area that produced great leaders you know, during the same era, you talk of uh, uh, president, uh, former president of the NC, uh, 
Uh, actually, uh, later on, we're talking to the family of Pixli Kasim, and this is one of those. Oh, yes, it's actually one of those, and it, it does not stop with those ones. But uh, we were talking of the great leaders that actually lived during the same era. You're talking of people like Mahatma Gandhi, who came all the way from India and settles within the confines of Inanda. We're talking of uh, one of the prominent uh, you know, church leaders, the prophet Isa Shembe, who also was uh, nurtured and uh, became the leader of one of the greatest and uh, growing churches okay. in Southern Africa. Thank you so much for talking to us. But just tell us, what will be the family's role in the program today? Well, today it's, it's all about embracing and also chanting the way of the word of unity, unity and unity amongst all and sundry. Thank you so much for talking to us. Langadube, every time I do a broadcast in Durban, the viewers give me feedback and say, you do not know, you never prepared for the KZN weather. Look at my outfit, it's sweltering hot here. And like I said earlier, there the sun is back. And we just spoke to Langadube, the grandson of Dr. J.L. Dube, as the ANC celebrates 106 years of existence. Let's go to break and then it's back to the Johannesburg Street studio.